What's up everyone? Ramona Debro for V103. Yeah, I'm getting fabulous. I'm gonna learn how to be a model. Well, not exactly, but there is a story out about some very special models who had a chance to rock the runway. Versailles 73 is a documentary, a show that changed the course of American fashion. And they had some amazing models. So we had to come to the Cynthia Bailey School of Fashion to talk to Cynthia about it, I caught up with the documentary's writer, producer, and director, Miss Deborah Riley Draper. Um, for size 73, thank God for that for that that night in 1973 when basically American designers were finally recognized and respected as designers. Well, it's um, so appropriate that we would be here, Ramona, because in 1973, 40 years ago, American Ready to Wear Fashion was born. Mm -hmm. And um, what happened was you had like five very spunky American designers, but they were upstarts. You had Halston, Oscar De La Renta, Bill Glass, Ann Klein, Stephen Burroughs. The big ones. The big ones. Even now. Uh, even now. <laughs> but they were taking on even bigger names because they were going to France to uh, exhibit with Givenchy. Christian Dior, Pierre Cardin, um, Yves Saint Laurent, and Emmanuel Ongaro, so the lions of couture. And they had all of the money, they had all of the props, they had everything in. And these five American designers, they go to Paris, and there's a language barrier, they don't have rehearsal time, all of their props are not made properly, so they have nothing left. But what they realized was that they actually had a secret weapon. They had a bit of a tour de France, which was a collective of 12 black models who had come along with them. So it was the first time in the history of Europe that there had been a collective of African-American models on the stage at the same time. The and models, uh, Pat Cleveland, Alva Chin, Beth Ann Hardison, those women that, what they did that night, they, they had no idea that they were making history. Uh, I remember um, just hearing about like, you know, just even their accommodations, like everything was just so low budget for the Americans and then everything was so laid out for the French and they completely killed it. Like they, they blew it up. Like they, they really took over that night. And that was really important for fashion history because before then, American designers weren't really respect as, as, as fashion. The momentum for four months later for Beverly Johnson to be on the cover of Vogue, for people to emerge like Cynthia Bailey, who is now giving these same lessons to young girls in this very studio, as a matter of fact. So it is the spark, is the flashpoint in fashion, is the flashpoint um, on the runway, and it's the flashpoint for American design, so it's crazy. It certainly is a part of American history. It is. And, and we so appreciate you for doing this documentary because there are, there is a, a whole generation of creative, uh, I don't know, designers, models, Business you know, even people, like accountants, accountants, everything. you know, lighting, uh, technicians, you know, who, everything. you know, photographers. You know, every, it's a business, it so is. in every business you have a cast of characters who play a role in making it successful. Absolutely. And in this film, you see all of the cast of characters <laughs> who made this thing a success. <laughs> go see Versailles 73. Definitely go see the movie, you guys. You'll see the legacy that was given to Cynthia that she's giving to everyone else at her school. So visit the school and see the movie. Thank you very much.